driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money but Hello and welcome to the Lords Brain Co YouTube channel And today we have a special guest Liam from Sunbear Brewing Hi guys, you alright? He, he talks different to what I do um, <laughs> So where are you from Liam? Tell, tell the people how we ended up meeting So I managed to get myself into, uh, oh no, it wasn't BRX. I did meet you at BRX, you but did. that wasn't the first time. The first time I was actually on a Christmas night out uh, with work and we stopped off at Glen Affric Brewery. And at the time uh, I was watching Simon of uh, Real Ale Craft Beer. And I recognized him in the tap room and he was doing a live video and he was just chatting away to a, a few guys. Obviously I didn't really know anyone at that time. And he was walking past me to go to the toilet and I was just like, oh, probably a really grab time, uh, a really bad time to grab you. But you know, you know I've watched your YouTube channel, I recognize you. Oh, it's you know, great to see you. What are you doing up here? And he was just like, I'll be back in two minutes. I was like, oh yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, so he came back and he was like, do you fancy coming on my live stream? I was like, what? He was like, I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. So he, he grabbed me along and then we were, I was on the live stream with him. If, maybe if some of you have watched it, it was maybe for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. He went and grabbed Craig, the head brewer, because yeah. obviously I said I was a, a home brewer and was chatting to him for a while. And then after the live stream finished, I got chatting to, to you and you <laughs> indulged me about how being a brewery owner is the complete wrong thing to do to with your life. Do, yeah. <laughs> and so I've uh, ignored John's advice and he's kindly had me here today brewing a very expensive recipe. Uh, Hang on a minute. I'm which just, uh, which he, <laughs> gladly, he gladly agreed to. And I, I've, I've got at least seven or eight quids worth of hops so splattered all over me. We had the brief that this is going out in pubs to keep the price down, don't go mental. What did he do? The most expensive hops available in the country. For you guys? Like... Yeah, that was my fault. <laughs> Actually, it was his fault as well. <laughs> he said it was all right. I didn't even get a... I just got an invoice that said, can you pay this? Because we don't normally buy these. Which so. is fantastic. I want to do this a lot more. I get to design my own beer. Come here. It's all paid for by John and then I get to leave with uh, well when I come back I'll, I'll be leaving with some beer hopefully John will he's not, he's not beer. even he sorry my phone's going mental in my pocket um, <laughs> yeah so that's the, that's the the craziness of how it's all all gone so it, Liam was very nice there so what what actually so what happened on my point of view we were doing the live stream and whenever you're out and people know that you've got a brewery or something they want to talk to you about it and they said, oh, this, this guy, you need to hire him. That was the thing. And I was like, I don't need to hire anybody right now. I can't afford to keep who I've got. And they were like, no, 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 you've got to like, go and talk to him. Go and talk to him. And, I, and I thought, you know what? I wish somebody had told me how hard it would be and what yeah. the sacrifice would be. Because the, the hard thing about brewing is it's, it is really good fun. Oh, it's amazing fun. I've had an absolute whirlwind today. You loved it, yeah, you absolutely loved it. But it is hard as well. It's, it's hard. And when you're doing it on a bigger scale and even bigger than this, there's other breweries that are obviously are massive breweries. It can be quite laborious. And the whole process is really, really expensive from start to finish. The, the amount of money that you actually earn at the end of getting that cask or that keg out there is that actually not that much. And the bulk of the money goes to the government. In, which you've now discovered being beer the, duty and yeah you've gone up a level yeah. so I wanted to tell him the truth so I was very negative I was like I told him <laughs> all the reasons why you shouldn't do it how much money I reckon it's going to cost and I, although I haven't been far out on that as really that's what it costs yeah. um, and, and, and I thought well let's see I, I, let's see what he wants to do but he's so passionate Liam was so passionate they just wanted to do it. And he's a very infectious character to be around. He's a good laugh. So when we bumped into him at BRX, we just, we were like, come on, let's go to the pub. And we had a great time, oh, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. It was we awesome. Had such, so. such good fun. And obviously, at like a BRX, obviously, if those of you who might have been lucky enough to 
head down there last year like there were some absolutely unreal beers available and at a very very cheap price and yeah, we ended up drinking a lot sampling a lot Sample. for, for we, business we, purposes yeah, it was obviously market business research, research yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we ended up just skipping into town and uh, yeah sampling a bit of Liverpool's nightlife which obviously I'm a local to Liverpool so to me you know, it was great to share that with people it weren't from Liverpool and yeah it was I just, love Liverpool yeah, I've totally fallen in fun. love with Liverpool I just honestly I was always taught as a southerner it was a very scary place to be it's the absolute opposite I, f- I think the people in Liverpool are more like the people in Yorkshire they're very straight talking yeah. and what you see is what you get but they're good fun and they're oh, yeah. and then nine times out of ten um the experience you have is always it's always positive they might be really abrupt with you and you're like oh, but actually they they'll do they're so friendly and the hospitality is amazing so big up liverpool i love you you're awesome um so liam where can people find you on social media because we're bound to get i'm bound well there's bound to be comments saying where, where to find you yeah absolutely so uh, you can find me on uh, Instagram uh, uh, Sun Bear Brewing or the exact same name over on YouTube my YouTube videos are absolutely terrible but everyone's are uh, when they're first starting out so just bear with me uh, I've talked <laughs> some <laughs> mine are just as bad don't yeah. worry it's fine. I've, I've actually made a little bit of content about today's brew so I imagine that might take me a little bit of time to get up but if you would be interested in seeing this kit in action a little bit of what we've been up to today obviously feel free to jump over to my channel and check it out if you're interested there you go and I'll put the links in the description below uh, where you can find uh, Liam and also he's or if you're a home brewer check out the kit that he's got it's awesome like you've gone like 11 on the homebrew kit it's yeah kind of gone it's not homebrew kit really anymore is it no you no, I'm basically breed- on on small a very small microbrewery level I've, I've got like a one barrel brewing system which for home brewers is like 150 liters to as opposed to the normal either on your uh, on your oven cooker whatever or your grandfather g30 uh, and uh, yeah saving up for tanks a little bit smaller than this maybe ones that fit in the garage yeah you'd have a job getting them in <laughs> yeah, <we> would, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah no yeah i've got a uh, some some really cool uh, home brewing equipment uh, so yeah if you're interested or even if you have any questions uh, about the equipment that i have or if you'd be interested in getting that equipment always happy to give some feedback or advice to anyone who would want it not that i'm particularly qualified but i say it's always good to you get are opinions. qualified i am yeah, i am qualified yeah, yeah, I am. Say, he's more qualified than i am <laughs> i can assure you and and so uh, what are the the questions i know that everybody's gonna ask what what have you made today so today's beer was inspired by a trip to go visit some family over in australia uh, which is called uh, stone and wood brewery uh, and it's essentially just like a, a like an all galaxy uh, pale ale however we've tweaked the recipe slightly and we've added a little bit of citra in there as well but yeah i'm like to me this is just the perfect summer beer uh obviously still a little bit cooler but certainly in a couple of weeks this beer is gonna be superb superb i brewed this a couple of times and everyone loves it so well i'm excited for everyone to try it we've got some uh, aussie fans so there's sam and there's trav and they'll both be well well i don't know we'll have to try and get some to you i don't know so you can try it um or yeah. <laughs> you can come here and try it as well you know it'd be great to have you or but, buy some stone and wood from the shop around the corner and uh hopefully it should taste exactly the same well there you go there you go minus so, the citra yeah well i think we had some citra in stock didn't we I yes think, yeah so yeah. 
Yeah, so uh, did you see all the hops in there? I bet you were like, No, I haven't been in there have yet. Have you not? No. Oh, it gosh. was the biggest bag of hops I've ever seen in my life. I'm, I'm used to these diddly 100 gram packets and then uh, Mike just comes out with this big five kilo bag and it just, it just blew my mind and I just stuck my head in the bag and it was the best smell in the world. I love it. It's good. And yeah. Galaxy Hops. Uh, Galaxy Hops aren't normally as expensive as they are at the moment. But for some reason, you just can't get them. So there's only one place where you could get them from. That, that's what we yeah, discovered. Yeah, yeah. There was no, none of the other hop wholesalers even had it in stock. So we were left with one place that had it. Wow. And that's why it, uh, they know that. <laughs> so that's why the price goes up. But yeah, I'm looking forward to having Aussie. I, I mean, we should really have the Aussie flag on it or a kangaroo at least. Yeah. I think we should. I, I reckon, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. where I found into the design. Yeah, definitely. we should put that. We haven't even done the pump clip yet. No. No. Yeah, so. It'll be ready in about two weeks, three weeks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Need to get a move on. It's going to be good fun. I'm excited. I really like So, Trav sent me uh, some beers from Deeds Brewing. Um, oh, Trav, what were the other ones called? There was one called The White Horse. Oh, I've forgotten the name of them all. Feral Brewing Company. Um, there's some others. I'm sorry, Trav, I can't remember all of them. <laughs> the, the Deeds ones really stuck in my mind. And there is a definite, distinct difference, I think, between an Australian beer and anywhere else. I think they taste significantly different to an American version of the same. So if you've got yeah. an, uh, an Australian IPA, a British and an American one, they, they do stand alone and taste different. There's no doubt. Yeah, oh, I haven't had the opportunity to try that but next time I head over there I will definitely be uh, testing that theory out ghostly really. yeah it's got yeah. to be done it's got to be done anyway so this has been awesome and Thanks. we've got uh, Bramall Rob from Bramall Backroom Breweries and then your mates coming up although we haven't finished the recipe yes he, he gave he gave a really great idea for a, a recipe and then I said no and then we haven't heard anything from him <laughs> So I'm sorry if you're watching. <laughs> I'm a, a bit I, offended. I, I don't, it was a great recipe. It's just, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'd struggle to sell it at this time of year. But I mean, unless you want to wait until summer, it could be good in summer. It would be amazing. Yeah, summer. if you want to yeah, wait. No, and, and to you, John, thank you so much for having me here today. That's right. It's, been, it's my pleasure. It's been amazing. It's nice thank to you. give somebody <laughs> a chance to, get, like I was saying to you earlier, um, that when we first started, there was one really, there was, there were two breweries that gave us a lot of advice. One that where we learned our craft, but when we came to this kit, like I was saying how our brewer sat in that the first time that he was literally inside there trying to clean it, crying. Yeah. Because it was it was just so hard to do initially. Because <laughs> these things don't come with instruction manuals. I mean, the cleaning was just mental. Um, but. But yeah, if we can give people an opportunity to have a go on a big kit and get some experience and help you a little bit, then so be it. And you can't get over how cheap we buy hops at compared to what you guys pay. No, oh yeah, oh, that is disgusting. So <laughs> disgusting. So I think, I, so I pay anywhere between probably like eight to 12 pounds for a hundred grams. So for a kilo, that's obviously around the hundred pound mark. You're buying five key. Is it a kilo for about thirty five? It depends on what it is, but yeah, yeah, it's a lot, lot cheaper. Loads cheaper. Like twenty five percent cheap. Like twenty five percent of the price I pay. So, yeah, I was just like, oh my god. So basically, I'm not ordering from my normal supplier anymore. I'm just going to be getting John to order it for me and then I'll be driving to the brewery to pick it up. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that, but that's what's happening. So yeah, there you go. Uh, uh, we might be starting a home brewing uh, shop at some point. <laughs> it's looking that way, homebrew shop now. I mean, yeah, support your home brewers. Yeah. Like, this is badly backfiring now. Um, no, I'm kidding, no. Um, but yeah, it, it, I mean, I guess that's how they make their money. The other thing oh, yeah. is, the other, the other side will be that they've got to put the man hours to put them all in the packets and then they've got to ship that and it's probably got, I bet they've factored in a bit of postage in there to keep the postage Oh yeah, down. yeah, like yeah. definitely. And obviously the the actual like uh, variety that are available to us as homebrew is, is amazing. Yeah. We can pretty much get any hop that we want at any time. Whereas wow. the likes of yourself, you can struggle to buy. Oh, 
Yeah, when you want, one hop, so. yeah, when you put in 25 kilo plus of hops in one beer, and then it, it gets a bit like, oh, we need this, we need that, and then you're limited because you can only get this thing or that. Although the hop factors we use are all very good. Uh, this one, uh, for yours, we used a new one that we haven't used before, um, and they, they were very helpful. Yeah. So yeah, awesome. uh, I think yours uh, came from a company called Brewers Select. Yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, yeah, they, they they've also have some really interesting things. So we barrel aged a beer, which is over there. Yes. And we haven't got wooden barrels, but we bought these pieces of wood, which are effectively have the same surface area. So they give you the they supposedly will give you the same yeah, uh, yeah, barrel yeah. aged effect. So that's going to be very exciting so that came from those guys as well so yeah very awesome. interesting so yeah. anyway i'm rambling on now um anything else you want to say get yourself down to the bar if you're it around huddersfield and help me out by tasting it and giving me some feedback because yeah. that's what i need to improve as a brewer i need you guys to kind of tell me oh this is where this hasn't worked so yeah if you are in the local area please drop in well this beer as well is going out in cast and the casts are right back there uh, they're going to be going out to our local pubs wholesalers so they, it should be available across the country yeah I, i'm uh, chatting to some local bars around liverpool as well so i'm hopefully going to try and sell a couple for yeah, you over why there not? why not Hey, we'll yeah. ha I'll have to come. Here, hey, wouldn't it be good if we could get it over there for beer X? That would be good. And then, yes. we, could, then we could go and have an after party somewhere. <laughs> I'm getting myself in trouble now. Yeah. Right, so it's been awesome. It There's going to be more videos from me and Liam as we do more stuff. Oh my word, Steve's mental. <laughs> I thought he'd fallen then. It's just a lunatic. <laughs> Health and safety. I'm glad I'm, oh my word. Anyway, right, we're going to go. Nice talking to you. Cheers. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good one. See you all soon.